My first experience with the Salvation Army both attracted and repelled me. It was in the small western Pennsylvania town of Cory. My mother had remarried and our new family was deeply involved with the Army. My new grandfather was the Corps Sergeant Major whose wild shock of gray hair added to his towering height. It was a Sunday when we visited, which meant that everyone in the house went to the Army for the meeting, all of us. I had been raised in a proper, quiet, and orderly downtown church. You went, sat down, were quiet, and listened. The Army was totally different. There was a lot of noise before the meeting as people greeted each other, a loud laugh here and there, all barely quieting down when the meeting started. Grandpa Saturday led the meeting that went on with a rollick. The pianist, Mrs. Captain Pugh, laughed as she hit as many wrong keys as right ones. I nearly dropped my songbook when the people clapped on the chorus of the song. What is this? Later, they had a testimony time when kids my age were standing up in front of God and everybody to say what the Lord was doing in their lives. How could they be so brave, I wondered. But it was a sermon that blew me out of the water. Captain Pugh, a former Marine drill sergeant and beer truck driver, gave a loud, dynamic sermon. Talking about sin in his life, at one point he pulled back his tunic sleeves to reveal matching tattoos of two scantily clad young ladies. By manipulating his hands, he made them dance. I was stunned. At the end came an altar call. People were invited to come forward to seek salvation or pray about any needs they had. I'd never seen that and watched amazed as people went forward to kneel. When I left the meeting, I didn't know if I loved or hated the Salvation Army, but I knew that what I had seen was a genuine Christianity that accepted people as they were until they became what God intended. The next Sunday, we started attending the Corps in neighboring Warren, Pennsylvania. It was the first time in my life I ever felt welcome, and I wanted more than anything else to be a part of it, and I still do.